Okay. Here we go. Random in three, two, one. Bam. Kestrel B? We have not done Kestrel B. Okay. Nobody called Kestrel B, that's for sure. Chef was taken. Okay. <laughs> All right. The Red Tail. This ship I used to like a lot. Because I thought, yeah, four weapon power and a bunch of lasers. Easy to upgrade. But it's easy to side grade. It's not as easy to upgrade. If you find a single flak, it's good. But any ship, if you find a single flak, is usually good. I do like the crew on this ship, though. It'd be better if there were an NG. Right, I think I go like... How do I do the crew? Maybe like this, I think. I think this is what I want to do. O M D obsessively man doors. Too many humans for your liking. Yeah, true. I didn't name the change of ship name. I didn't. Ah, oh, crap. Crap. Okay. Does it, does it count as a loss if I go back to the screen to name the ship? Because I completely forgot. I can't name it here, can I? If it counts as a loss, I can't do it. Uh. <laughs> How about I just make you the pilot? I'm just gonna make you the pilot. I don't want to somebody claim I messed up the streak. You can be my pilot. Julian verse. Yeah, let's just. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chant somebody claiming I'm not streaking because I go back to rename a ship or something. You want to be the bug, you want to be Silly Device. That's what? You can't be. Silly Device is Silly Device. Oh man, first ship Zilton Shield missile. That sucks. Okay. Silly Device is Silly Device. Other people can't be Silly Device. No, you forgot your Kappa, that's why. Okay. Hollow's on a jump before in a crystal ship and then gone back to hangar. Really? Well, I guess if it was an empty jump, I could kind of see that being okay. But still, that feels a little unstreaky-like. <laughs> and you want to be the bug, and you want to be the Zeltan. Okay, give me a second. We'll do some renaming after this. Damn it. I took my hands off the keyboard, and I'm going to take another missile shot for it. Crap. Okay, we dodge it. I totally planned on that being a dodge. Nice double reward to start, though. All right, T M Hacks want to be wants to be the Mantis. T M Hacks, Ted the K is the Zoltan. Ted the K. Always wish you could change ship names and run. It'd be good for remembering meme runs that just emerge spontaneously. Yeah, I kind of wish that you could too. What's up, Psychopath Cookie? You just doing the stream? Anything you need to know? Playing Mantis, I mean, Sultan, I mean, what is this ship? I don't know. Um, nothing to sell on this ship. Do I even get early, like, shield value here? What if there's a store there? Luckily, there's no rules, so it's up to you. Hey, what's up, Barb? <laughs> Does Sultan um, overcharge this? No. Okay, good. We failed, which is good for that event. You want to be the basic laser? You're so basic. Sure. Sensors for 15. This is right before a store. If there were not a store here, I would 100% do this. The thing is, 30 scrap is exactly enough for long-range scanners. With four shots, you can skip the shields until you see the first store, in your, in your opinion. The only thing I could do with 30 scrap is long-range scanners, though. And I would say long-range scanners and level 2 sensors often overlap with blue options, but long-range scanners is good for more than blue options. Uh, what was the first ship? First ship was Rock B. And people in chat can tell you if you want or not. I don't want to spoil Take it because long range scanner is not in the store. Honestly, I'm gonna decline. 
Because if there's not long range scanners, I would rather have my 30 scrap for something else. I don't think that early level 2 sensors is what I want to spend my scrap on. I would rather do an offensive upgrade than level 2 sensors. Okay. Ion plus mini beam A. Eh? I hope he charges to three. Okay. Okay. Shield should still be back up in time, though. Yeah, we're good. No cloaking for you. Good. Bold as brass. I don't know. This ship... Starting weapons... If you don't get them upgraded before, like, Sector 3, feels really bad. So I want to give ourselves the highest chance of getting a weapon upgrade. Is this an easy ship? I wouldn't say easy. It's hard to say any ship is easy. It depends on the run. Um, four jumps gets me ten jumps in this sector. And if I'm going to go through four nebulas, I'm going to get level two piloting. Oh, uh, it's got not bad weapons to start, for sure. Oh, I was gonna say immediate payoff, and then we get the... We lose the 50-50 of it actually getting us anything. Damn you, FTL. Ah, god damn it. That sucks. Yeah, it's a, I would say it's easy to play. Yeah, that's a good description of it. Easier to play than a lot of other ships. But... Like, is FTL easy? I feel like a person who is new to FTL wouldn't say anything about FTL is easy. The guy at my church job who's been telling me about playing FTL uh, is learning how to use a teleporter. And he probably does not think that's easy. Because this is one of the harder games out there that I feel like is not hard just to just to punish the player, but to actually make it a challenging experience. No, this is not the early most powerful early game ship, Julian Verse. God. Stealth A, uh Slug C, there's Lanius B, there's like off the top of my head at least four ships way more powerful than this ship early. I've been to two nebula jumps. Do I go one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight? Oh wait, can I even get eight? Because this would need to be in seven for that to work. I have to actually get three nebula jumps to get eight. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So I actually need one extra nebula jump. Okay, let's do that. This isn't even the best Kestrel ship. Yeah, Kestrel A is just too good, right? Starting weapons, so good. Uh, Psydog, thank you for the two months in a row. Appreciate that. When I hack piloting versus shield, when do I hack piloting versus shields when you've got lots of pew pew weapons? Um... Piling versus shields. Uh, hack. Um, it, off, it usually depends on the actual weapons I have, I would say. Because say they have three shields and I have level one hacking, but a flak. Then I'm going to definitely hack, hack piloting in that situation. I don't know, does anybody else have just a, an actual... Hard and fast rule for that. It's something you learn, but it depends on your weapon system and the level of your hacking is the answer. Sadly, the answer is it depends. That blue option fail reminded you that last time, well, last night you did an NGP run with a single crew member and had the virus event. First time you've had a blue option that would have lost the run if you'd picked it, yeah. You keep losing crew to ships jumping away when you had boarded them and then you stopped boarding. You only ever played basic edition back around its launch though. Playing FTL on and off since it came out. You're still not good enough for hard difficulty. It's a hard game, man. So I can get second shield. Are there two stores in Sector 1 ever? 
I can't remember. I learned this new word, understatement at school. What does it mean? Can you give me an example? Sure, honey. It's like you would say, faster than the light is not an easy game to play. What? Oh, that is an example of an understatement. I get it. I get it now. I get it now. That took me a second. That sounds like that's a reference to some show. Uh, some TV show uh, quote or something. Wow, we fired twice. That must have been an ion bomb. Can I tell them how much damage you want to push into their weapons? Beams lean to shield hacks. Projectiles lean towards evasion hacks. Good weapons lean to weapon hacks. There you go. That's a good general rule if you like. I lean in general towards shield hacks, but I will adjust as the situation calls for. So five, four, three, two, one. So I can never get that if it's a store. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get second shield. I'm just going to go ahead and do that and hope we don't see a store. We have, say, six shots and they have three shields, but a bunch of missiles and piloting hack doesn't really help. Yeah. Not as much as a level two shield hack. Again, it depends, because if you have level one hacking, then I would hack their piloting in that situation. Uh, three fuel, six missiles, seven scrap. It's a pretty good deal. But I don't really need missiles, and I do need scrap, so I'm going to skip that. What? I, <laughs> I say I'm going to skip it, and then I press 1. All right, I mean, I totally wanted all that fuel and missiles. That puts us at 15 missiles. We're going to immediately get the sell 15 missiles deal, and I'm going to be so happy I took that. Totally. Totally going to be totally so happy about it. You take this ship over Kestrel, A. Eh? No. No. Okay, this guy can't do damage to us. Oh, he can do damage to us. He's got free hack because F us, it's FTL. Do you know how good Burst Laser 2 is? Have you used a Burst Laser 2? Do you know how good uh, Artemis Missile actually is early game? Four one power lasers is definitely worse than two weapons that are both more damage than the power they require. Kestrel A is way easier to upgrade. I maybe would have used to agree with you, Julian Verse, but the more I play, the more I agree with Britnoth that this ship is can be a very difficult ship to upgrade your weapons. Whereas Kestrel A because it starts with such better weapons. Why did I not shoot weapons there? Because I totally knew he was going to make that bad shot. Um, I, I should have microed my... I was just a complete display there. Okay, double reward is good. Half the weapons of the game are side grades for this ship. Yeah. I find that two shields is rarely a wrong choice for the first upgrade and run. Yeah, this might be one of the ships where it could be a, a, a wrong play, but... Since we didn't find a weapon, I think it was the right play. That's your point. Uh, same things like for NGC that have. I don't. I don't know what your point is, Julian Verse. He's saying we're missing our point. This has crappier weapons than Kestrel A. That's what we're talking about. Crappier weapons mean crappier ship, is what we're saying. Kestrel A is the guaranteed burst, too. You can keep the whole run. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of missiles. And drone parts. Well, it's only two drone parts. No, I already took that missile deal. I'm going to not accidentally accept this surrender. Uh, Kestrel A losing in Sector 1 is very rare. I think Rand did recently. That was a freak death. That you called a 1 in a 1,000 to 1. Yeah, that was... Uh, what was that? Was that a... Wasn't like a combat drone heavy laser that hit my weapons immediately or something like that and started a double fire. It was some ridiculous, ridiculous bad RNG. 
Investigate. Empty. Okay. Oh, man, I cannot find Zelt. Uh, I, I can only find Zelt sectors. Um, I think we take Rebel, even though that means less chance for... We don't get to see both greens, but we have more greens top, so let's go up here. Yeah, it was a huge fire that we couldn't get out with humans. And I tried to put it out with humans rather than venting. And post uh, reviewing the uh, after the fact, the correct play was probably to vent, but we just got unlucky with fire spreading instantly. Four damage, eight scrap, it breaks even. I want to go to distress, but I don't actually want to go around that way, so. Four layers on a shorter time scale. They're in the burst laser two during the first one or two sectors, but this ship suffers as you find more weapons that pair easily with burst laser two. Nothing pairs well with a basic laser. Right. And you, it sounds like you're agreeing with us, but coming up with a different ending it's like we agree with what's good and what's bad. But we're having a different conclusion from it. We're saying that Burst Laser 2, because of the things you just said, that it pairs well with other weapons, the value of easier to upgrade offense is more than slightly better offense in Sector 1 and 2. That's what we're arguing. And yeah, you are kind of discounting the the Artemis too in that argument. Because Artemis is a very good weapon. I talk crap about it because it's a missile, but it's arguably the best missile in the game because it's fast and two damage. To vent with or without the humans in there. <laughs> Depends. If I'm trying to win the run, I don't want to vent my humans for no reason. Wow, this exit beacon is in a horrible location. If this exit beacon was here, we'd get three more jumps than we're going to get. One, two, three, four. Uh, the one good thing is if we get all three of these nebulae, we do get two extra jumps. So I guess I'm just going to do that. You think people listen too much to the Missile or Bad Doctrine? Yeah, and I probably pushed that too much, honestly, but... What can I do? I'm an emotional guy. I let my... saltiness drive my... decision-makers. I don't know. Well, that's at least level 2 cloak. Good doges. Okay. Wow, that was a lot. Did we hit one out of our four shots right there? I think we hit one out of four there. Okay. At this level of play, what kills you in sectors four plus are not bad fights, but bad stores. Many people would definitely appreciate missiles more if you could buy Artemis. It's a pity you can't. Yeah, that's 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 probably true. I mean, probably the best purchasable missile is Pegasus or Swarm. But to get full value out of both of them, it's, they're really slow. So like the best missiles you can buy are just too slow. Maybe Hermes is potentially the best because it's... Wait, can you buy Hermes? Is that a two power, three damage missile? I can't remember. I never buy missiles, so I don't actually know what the good ones are to buy. Still no store. And that's all I'm saving my scrap for is a store of weapons. Your point was that this ship is one of the most powerful ships in the game for the early sectors, but it doesn't scale well. One of the most powerful. I just, I can't even agree with that. Because there are so many ships that... Okay, we can get some dodge training here. I mean, I, I'd say it's in the top 10. Maybe top 6. I don't remember my... I'll be honest, I don't remember my full tier list where I put this one on it. Okay, this is definitely a, a good ship to train on. If you think top 10 is one of the most, then I'd probably agree with you, but I don't know that I agree that it's in the top four, even. Ease of play is a different discussion, I feel like. 
Okay, I have not dodged like a single shot here. Come on. Come on, get some doges, please. If you had wharf on weapons, then missiles would be more viable. Mr. Wolf! Alright, we finally got one dodge. Hey, there's another one. I'm actually going to wait for a shield to repair, then I'm going to auto-fire one of my lasers. Maybe two of them, just... Nice, there we go. Mistimed them on purpose. There we go, nice. Uh, how high do I want to go here is the question. I might max it. Am I ever going to move these crew? The one I'd be most likely to move would be would be pilot. Let's get like a slugger or rock on piloting. Oh, the human's actually the one who's gotten the training so far. Nice. Okay, there's there's the NG or the Zoltan on engines. I might just stick with that because of my impatience. I have Kestrel be at eight places where I have it. Okay. All right, we got we got to level one engines, uh, level one training on those. That's pretty good. NGA is very popular because it's easy to play. Oh god, I don't have NGA above this ship, do I? I guess it has good stuff to sell though, right? I man, I really, really don't like ships that uh, you can't aim your offense. I'm looking at you, Combat Drone Mark 1. Photon Torpedoes, you guess those are kind of missile, yeah. I think Kestrel B is one of the best beginner player early ships. Uh, you say that, but not some of the many beginner players suck donkey butt with that ship. Uh, talk about with uh, NGA. Too many people auto fire into weapons and never push any damage to take peppercorn damage, it's hilarious. Well, there's hacking I could buy. See, here's here's a perfect example of what Britnoff talks about with side grigs. Both these weapons are two power, two shot weapons, which is complete side grades to basic lasers. So, um, I think the play is hacking and maybe buy one of these lasers. I mean, maybe it's even buy an NG because of how good NG crew is, but I probably should buy one of these lasers. Um, Kestrel B is 8th place and NGA is at 23rd place. Oh, wow. I, that's, did I put it that low? How is Burst 1 a side grade? Because that thing you said where you have to upgrade your weapons. Because I have to upgrade my weapons to get an extra shot. Don't get me wrong. Burst Laser 1 is better than base la Basic Laser because it's one weapon slot for two shots, but it's still two power for two shots. So, I have to spend 50 plus 50 plus power. 120 if you count the power to get one extra shot. That's why it's not really an upgrade. Oh, okay, minus 10 for the belt, basic, there you go. Uh, well, it's always this, that's always the correct play. Um, I probably do still sell a basic laser to get a burst laser, because if I get a flak... Hmm. Uh, we don't have another store, do we? Oh, we do have another store. Hmm. Yeah, we're basically playing, paying 40 scrap for an extra weapon slot. Yeah, it's an upgrade, but it's it's way more expensive than the upgrade is worth. I actually, because I have another store, I think I'm not going to buy a, bait, uh, a Burst Laser Mark 1. There's a Burst Laser 2, yes. There's a Flak 1, yes. Most weapons in the game also require an upgrade. Weapons to get them in play. If this store has no weapons, I will regret not buying the first laser one, I think. 
Yeah, it's more flak opportunities. It's also more opportunities for no weapons. However, because I have hacking, I'm gonna greed. I'm gonna greed. Only this ship forces you to sell a weapon to upgrade your weapons. Okay, well, that's plenty of fuel. Actually, 30, you'd mean selling two basics. Okay. Okay, this guy can't damage us. Do we ever get a crew kill here? Do you have, like, repair drone or anything? No. So, let's... Let me try something. I never do O2 crew kills. Let me try one. So it's level 202. Um, so I think I do one damage to it, then I hack it. And then I finish it off. Is that the right play? Wow, these dodges though. Okay, there we go. Uh, Kestrel B doesn't need a lot of scrap, thankfully, but it doesn't generate a lot of scrap either because crew kills are hard. So we let him repair it. Then we hack it. Then we shoot it. Okay. And now they're going to try to run out, right? Oh, crap. There it is. Tendro parts, you think O2 hacks are a good idea? Yeah, I'm trying to... Trying to, uh... Be more versatile in things I used to not do. So, I think I think this is a good... This is a great ship to practice it on. So, that's good. And hack and then immediately break it. The hack continues. Oh, really? You can? Okay. That I didn't know. Good to know. The hack continues even when O2 is broken. That is a mechanic I did not know about. Okay, you are a beam master. All right. Let's go for piloting then. Start. So you can't doge or run away. No doging, no roaning away. I have NGAST tier directly under slug A. I feel like my slug A is probably too low. But I reevaluated my tier list a couple weeks ago, I feel like. So maybe I maybe I did consider other things. I keep forgetting to move my mantis to shields. Alright, store. Could you please have a flak or a burst laser too? No. Well, Combat drone, mm, not with hacking since I'm already using drone parts there. I could buy a clone bay for events I don't normally do. Um, you can hack and immediately break it. If, you, if a drone isn't running, it won't start to run. Okay. Kestrel B effectively saves 50 scrap because it starts with level four weapons and the only other two ships like that have either no shields or weak shields. So having to sell basic layers upgrade is not really that bad, you think, huh? Now says it doesn't say 50 scrap. Yeah, I feel like it's invested that 50 scrap elsewhere because there are other ships that have other things to sell. This doesn't have anything good to sell. I think that's one of the big negatives about it. Because you have no augments to sell, and these sell for less than like any other weapon you could get. Well, there's nothing I'm doing here, I don't think. Is Clone Bay good enough? I don't think it's good enough to delay a chance at an early store having a weapon, so... Uh, let's see here. I'll sell three. I will sell three. I swear, I've not seen a single civilian sector outside of the starting sector yet today. Oh, God. Man, do I take another Nebula to avoid Zoltan? I did it last time. I do have a lot of fuel. Still don't have long-range scanners. Uh, 
It could be a forced abandon, though, is the other thing. An abandoned four can have uh, Lenius bombers. <sighs> this is just a f what what flavor of crap do I want? I'm gonna get the uh, the crap ray. And blind the whole time, I guess. Since I have level 2 piloting for that blue option, I guess I'll take that. Tough cookie to crack, yeah. Okay, at least the first ship doesn't have two shields. Over here. Okay. Um... I might be able to crew kill this. Well, it's hard to know. I don't even think he was within one sh more shot of dying. for the crew kill. Although I could get it. Hmm, maybe. But not now. Not now that I've done this much damage. I'd have to hack O2 and I think even that wouldn't work because I can't shoot it afterwards. Yeah, I guess we have four crew so we could have maybe dealt with Zoltan Border Police, but... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Zoltan Border Police have burned me too many times. Uh, do I get level 2 hack for potential 2 shield ship? I'm gonna do 2 more jumps before I make- maybe 3 more jumps before I make that decision so I can see if I have a store. So again, if I miss out on a hack or a burst laser 2 because of a, an upgrade, I don't want to do that. Good dodge. Not expecting a dodge there. Damn, well, we're taking damage now. Really good doges, man. Really good doges. Let's go for this. Okay, good. Nobody breathes until this guy's dead. Nobody breathes until this guy is dead. Did. Mantis repair party, go. Okay. Okay. All right, there's a store. 139 scrap. Nothing to sell. Do we take extra jumps? Nah. We don't want a chance finding more two shield chips when we could maybe just get a... Maybe just get a flak. On page two. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Um, just get a flak. What about basic laser? I mean, heavy laser or whole beam. Uh, what else is here? Backup battery. 35 plus 50. So I can get backup battery and heavy laser. Sounds good. Yeah, great store. Yeah, Flak 1 Heavy Laser in the same store. Can I have that store every time I play this game, please? Free recorded streamer luck, I know, right? Iconic duo. It's true. Name a more iconic duo. Uh, how about Glade Beam Preigniter? <laughs> Pretty good one. I'll go ahead and sell this. Will I? I guess I don't need to sell it yet. I don't need to sell it yet. I'm probably going to, but we don't have to do it yet. If there's another store, it's probably down here. 
This is a pretty good dive sector, actually. Sharky and Pulp are the most iconic duo. I've never even heard of those words before. The hell are those words? It's gotta be a British thing. No weapons for you. I have to turn off auto fire now. Turk and JD. I know who they are, though. <laughs> I know who they are. Uh, there aren't any events where you can spend scrap, right? Uh, yeah, there's uh, events where they offer to upgrade your ship for a cheaper price. If you want to call those events. Upgrade events or something. House and Wilson. Uh, I've never watched the show House, so... If that's from the show House, I don't know that one. You're watching Mouse, House MD at the moment? Tom Hanks and Wilson. That's who I was thinking of. Are you talking about the wonder he's the FedEx guy? Oh, I can't get down here now. If I go up this way. Oh. Um, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Hmm. So if I go down this way... Actually, I could I could probably get here on time. So 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3... Two, uh, two, one. Yeah, let's do that. Humans and venting are a good duo. Can't argue with that. Okay, that's a good hack for us. Um, you know what? Let's just guarantee. Okay, is wasted. That was just in case. Ah, damn. Just in case we didn't hit that in time. It's level two mind control, isn't it? I think it is. Let him fire one more time before we kill. Before we kill, I will kill her. Nice double reward. What weapon do you think visually looks the best? You think it's either Vulcan or Hull Beam? I mean, I'm partial to Flax myself, but uh, Glaive Beam I think looks pretty. Looks pretty awesome. We're going straight by looks. I think Glaive Beam is pretty awesome looking. Vulcan's pretty cool with its animations though, too. I'll give you that. Uh, can't remember his name. Doesn't talk much in the movie. Yeah, Tom Hanks. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember his name either. Okay, Welp. Humans inventing. There's that iconic duo. I wasn't able to vent him for very long, sadly. Did you get that crew kill? All right, Mantis gets all the crew kills. TM hacks. He's hungry. All right, you should be full. You don't have to eat. Now that we've eaten, you, we don't have to stop for the next couple towns, okay? But I'm hungry again. You actually really like Glaive? Um, let's see. You've never seen the whole beam glitch. What's the whole beam glitch? Whole beam loses points because of the missing frame glitch, which you can't unsee. Huh, I've not seen that. Frame missing out of the whole beam's animation. If you watch it carefully, when you when it fires, you'll see. Wow, I've never noticed that before. I want to upgrade something. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping for a store at one of these jumps, so let's not do it. Stream froze? I hope that was... I hope that was a... Uh, hope that was a Twitch thing. Because I see no drop frames. Yeah, I've had zero drop frames. It must have been a Twitch thing. Well, I hope that means I don't have to spend an hour editing tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably what we do. Stream full on died. You had to reload that. Damn it. Yeah, it's a Twitch. It's a Twitch thing. Anybody who's reloaded, tell people in chat it's a Twitch thing because I've dropped zero frames.
Arm the weapons. I mean, you are my missile defense, so let's use it. And if it if it died on Twitch, that probably means I will have to refresh. Or I will probably have to do some editing tonight, which sucks. Effing Twitch, I know. Um, depending on his crew, nah. Rock crew, we're probably not gonna be able to crew kill this. Give myself the option, though. It'd have to take a while, because this fire would have to spread, and then they'd have to run out of O2. I don't think it's ever happening. Okay. Twitch has been buffering a lot lately. The VOD should be fine, though. I, I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I will trust in the power of the Twitch VOD. Attack pirate. No missiles. In my heal bay, okay. It's just a single dude. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Zero dodges. So surprised. Nope. You had a few few spinny circles tonight. I wonder if is there like is there like some big event going on on Twitch? Hey, thanks for the uh, two months in a row. Appreciate that, Amano Miko. Appreciate that. It's awesome. Uh, did you just walk through? Yes, you did. Why would you vent yourself? You're not a human. How long does it take to crew kill with fire on rocks? You think the system damage from the fire would kill the ship first? Well, yeah, it wouldn't the fire wouldn't be the thing that would kill them. It would be a fire in the O2 that slowly vented them. That would be the only way to do it. Thanks for the follow, Dancing Penguin. Yeah, man. Subscribing. I'm not getting lucky with the, these events Thanks here. For subscribing to Go ahead and do channel. this. Uh, not power until I see the beginning of the next sector. And Ted the K for the resub. Wow, thank you, everybody. Appreciate that. Hype train is close, it says. Okay. Yeah, a lot of empty jumps. But hey, you know what? The one store had a flak one and a heavy laser one. I will not talk crap about this nebula. This nebula is great. I love you, nebula. That one store really knows what the people want. That is a really pretty background. I wonder if they're going to do a new, um... Better plans of backgrounds using the, um... WST... What's the new the new thing they launched? Because these ones are all using Hubble, te Hubble Telescope things. I would love to see a new Better Plans of Backgrounds with the new telescope stuff. James Webb Telescope. Yeah, JWST, I guess it's called. That would be awesome if they did a new Better Plans of Backgrounds with that. Wow, that is a bunch of empty jumps. The frick... What am I, in an NG sector? Jeez. Okay. I was gonna say, that should guarantee missile goes offline if I hack piloting here. So in this case, I hacked piloting because my weapons were good enough that if they couldn't dodge anything, I could get the weapon that can hurt us offline before it fires. So there's the answer to the question, why hack piloting instead of shields in this case? He had two shields, and we can guarantee the missile doesn't hit us if I do it that way. Uncharted Nebula Store had good weapons because everyone else avoids the sector. <laughs> Uh, you're just noticing now some of the backgrounds in the game were ones you saw compared to the new images. Oh, were they? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds right. All right, there's a store. Probably our only store in the sector. I do have a combat drone to sell. What do I want from a store? Cloaking or mind control? Either of those would be good, so... 
I think our weapons are good enough. Now I will go one. No, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Let's do that. Another flak would always be good, yes. Ooh, that's a pulsar. And that's three shields. Um. Just in time. Fuck you, FTL! Goddamn fucking Pulsar. And he's got... Jesus, this is bullshit. This is so bullshit. This is such a bullshit thing. Fuck you, FTL. Get me the F out of here. Fucking bullshit. Absolute BS right there. Took out my weapons, didn't take out his weapons. He had three shields. That was effectively four shields in Sector 3. Three shields and an overshield in Sector 3. What kind of bullshit is that? Oh my god, Triple Mantis. Okay, at least we didn't take any damage from this shit. Okay, that should vent them into here. What a bullshit event that was. Fucking Pulsar... ...against a ship with overshield drone and three shields. What the actual F, man. That was... Just stupid. Pulsar's 8,000% the worst hazard in the game. 8,000%, man. Alright, well, I got nothing out of those two jumps. Except a bunch of free effing damage, you shit game. Well, that's another heavy laser. That's mind control. Okay. Is that what I want to do? It's my control repair. I think so. Okay, I need power. Our weapons are good, man. If I could not have shitty fights like that, I would be very happy. Yeah, the Pulsar also hit my weapons effing twice in a row. Just stupid, stupid she's nizzle. Uh, okay, I can sell basic laser and repair for more. And if there's long-range scanners, I can buy it if I sell basic laser. Okay, no long-range scanners, but... Okay. Uh, ignore, it's a tarp. You don't get to have weapons. And with mind control, I might be able to get some crew kills now, actually. Good. So we go to sensors. Uh, we mind control you. Oh yeah, we absolutely crew kill with this. Nice. All right, three health. Where are you gonna go? You actually don't have any place to go once my control wears off. Oh, you're just gonna go kill yourself. All right. Nice. Beautiful. That's a good fight. That kind of makes up for that ridiculously bad fight earlier. So you go there. You go there. You go there. Save this. Okay. 
I really need power. Let's see what our next sector is. Oh, Jesus. So how many green sectors we've seen today, and how many have been Zoltan? I'm pretty sure this is the first non-Zoltan green sector we've seen in this NG. Well, we're not going Zoltan, so... Time for a bunch of empty jumps and stores we can't buy anything at, I guess. Double missiles. At least we get a fire there. Really, is he really gonna get one missile shot up with a quadruple fire? Fuck you, FTL, man. That's so stupid. How the hell, with quadruple fire, did he still get a missile shot off? Alright, whatever. We're gonna get a crew kill. So, F you, die in a fire. Literally die in a fire. Literally die in a fire. You stupid humans. Get wrecked. Quadruple fire and weapons, and they still get a missile shot off. What a balanced game, everybody. Isn't this so balanced? Look how balanced missiles are. <laughs> that ship is our cousin. Holy crap. How much weapon power is that? Four, five... I think that's a seven power weapon system. Unless that's double Leto, that is a seven power weapon system. He didn't die in a fire, haha, -ha. okay. <laughs> All right, uh, triple store. I'm gonna check one, probably buy nothing, and get some power. It's a reloader, but I think I buy nothing. And just get power, because I really need power right now. Seven drone parts. That was that. Ha ha! He didn't die in a fire. Okay. <laughs> one, one. Power. Only system we're missing is cloaking, so... Triple store with no scrap. We'll have a little scrap, and I could actually check those for long range scanners. It feels really, really expensive to do that. So if I hack his piloting, I get four, five damage in weapons. One, two, three. I think that guarantees his missile doesn't fire. Once the flak gets outside the room, of course. Okay. I control you. Got a heal bay. No fire. Is that a good enough deal? Three fuel, one drone part. It's a pretty good deal, actually. If that was two drone parts, I'd probably take it. When is too late to buy the scrap arm? Um, yeah, any... Any time is too early, is actually the real answer. Usually don't want to buy scrap arm. Usually it's um, it's too much scrap. Cost usually isn't justified by the gains. You'd rather have actual combat power now than a scrap arm. Scrap arm, at least in this stream, most of the people here in this stream agree that it's a debate almost all the time. Now, I could afford a flak at this store. I'm going to do two jumps and then probably do one more store. Don't say never. It's almost never. There might be a slim chance sometime when it might be useful. I would say it's got that over hacking stun. But I would say almost never. Okay. Uh yeah, I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy an NG. 
Do I need any training? No, I'm gonna be putting you on. Actually, I guess I could put you on shields, but I wanted I want I want our silly device on doors, so. Fighting NG it is. Run is blessed, silly device, you bless us with their pres with your presence. Welcome to bless us this in, in your presence of this run, to bless us with our enemy's death and doom. Alright, I'm gonna buy two fuel, two drone parts, and skip the other store. It all have to depend on the situation, what applies for nearly all systems weapons, yeah. Uh, so now, instant, instant, instant NG value. Basically, we just got our scrap back, we spent on an NG. God, I love, God, I love NGs. I love NG blue options. So stinking good. Praise be the silly device. Praise be to the silly device. Wow. Double, double payoff. Two blue options in a row. NG in an NG sector, man. It's just me or has anyone else noticed how much better Rand has gotten in the short time? Now he's getting near his old PB regularly. That's like a weird sentence. Uh... I feel like I have gotten better. I think that's what you're saying. You want to be James? Sure. They're just pirates. Wow, okay. Well, I gotta say, not a lot of ship fights, but a lot of free stuff. And I approve of a lot of free stuff. So we are really close to getting cloaking now. Silly device, not a silly investment. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go ahead and... So, like, here, to me, this is a tough decision on what to hack. He's got three shields, which makes me want to hack his shields. However, he's not a assault who probably has, like, 45% dodge, which makes me want to hack his piloting. So, I think I'm going to hack his piloting because Flak is not great, even if he had no shields. It's inaccurate. So, we'll hack his piloting so that we guarantee Flak takes down his shields and we guarantee both heavy lasers hit. So, oh, what? How did I mistime that? This heavy laser was just slightly too far back or some crap? Wow, I don't know how I messed that up. That. His shields must have just instantly recharged or something. That was. I do not know how I messed that up. How the hell did his shields come back so fast? I think the travel time effed me right there. How's my uh, dodge training? You're maxed. You need two more dodges. This is not a bad ship to get that finished on, I feel like. For what, uh, what da weapon damage? I don't know. I actually think if you see drones, you don't commit to what you're shooting until you see what the drones are. Combat 2 drone is actually scarier than this guy's weapons. Need one more dodge for you to max. I think boarding training was seriously good for Rand's skill. Uh, yeah, I think that was my biggest weakness was my crew micro. So I think the, what did we do? Two or three weeks of, of practice? I think it was absolutely... The thing that's helped me the most. Oh damn, I just so let me do one volley on this guy. Okay, well I just completely mistimed that, but that's okay. We got the training. It's good. Hey, what's up, Solaris Ignis? Alright. Slug home nebula, okay. Slugs and Sultans, that's like all the sectors we're seeing today. I swear. Oh, interesting. Uh I can choose quest or store. I don't think I can do both. This was an escort, I believe. 167 scrap. Hmm. Is that a dead end? Wow, that is a lot of no-option jumps, but we can go around that, so we are going to go that way. 
Yeah, we're likely to find another store. It's true. Just pop it in on your lunch break and prep period. Nice. Um, I have a lot of scrap, though. I can just buy cloaking if they have it at the store. I wouldn't be able to get level 202 if I do that, but I have enough for cloaking. The escort could be a store as well. Uh, it could be a ship fight. It could be like a free power upgrade. Well, I wouldn't say... I would... What is it, two to three stores in Slug? I think it's... I think it's valid to say we skip this store trusting we'll get another store. Because Slug sectors do have a lot of stores. I'm going to go to the quest. Two jumps without upgrading O2. And then if it's not a store, we upgrade O2. Upgrade reactor. All right, did call that one. Pre-recorded streamer luck. I do kind of want to upgrade my defenses, though. Even through three nebulas, I don't think I get up there. Uh, I'm going to do that now. Got another three shield chip hacking. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. If that's a burst laser two, that's a seven power weapon system. Jesus. Please don't hack my weapons. Please don't hack my weapons. Fuck you. All right. Eat shit and die. I'll do the same thing right back at you, you piece of crap. I have to really hope he doesn't dodge everything now, though. If he dodges everything, we are really screwed. This is a stupidly overpowered ship. Okay. Well, I got rid of the least good weapon to take offline. Come on, shields. Come on. Oof. Shield training, I think, actually saved us there. I think shield training actually just saved us. Good dodges. It's freaking dodges, man. Okay, okay. This is good. This is good. Whoo, frickin' dodges and shield training to the rescue. God, God, God damn it. God, I hate weapon hacks so much. As I do it to him. The repair is super slow at least though, so that's good. Okay, get this crap out of here. Good, reached, no more hacking. Saved by shield training. It's kind of crazy. Well, there's all the dodges. Yeah, I could always run. That's true. There we go. I... Did we take one damage this fight or zero? Either way, one or zero damage against the ship this OP and stupid and broken is really good. And nice double reward. Whew. Really good. So, for stores that I'm looking for, I won't be able to see either of these jumps if I go this way. Well, I'll see this one from here. You think shield training and charge boosters are pretty underrated? With 45% boosted rate, drones pretty much become useless. That's intense. Uh, I could see that. I could see that. They're in my O2. I was late on this shot, but not too late, okay. If I do this... I think he's got an NG repairing in here. Oh well. No crew kill. The thing I'll say about shield recharge being underrated is it's, it's only certain situations. It's offensive drones and like repetitive non-ion lasers which i have a 
I, I kind of think that those two things aren't super frequent, you know? I think that fight would have been worse if they hacked my shields. You could be right. I might have changed what I aimed at, though, because if they hacked my shields, I would not have stopped shooting at weapons once their halberd beam was down. Right, I'm going to do shield value, but I'm not going to get third shield yet. Because if there's a store with cloaking, I need that. Okay, no store. I need to store nothing else for fuel now. Okay, big giant missile. Should guarantee missile down. My control feels pretty worthless when you're in a nebula and can't use offensively anywhere except where you hack. Basically, I wish I had found a single civilian sector of this run. I wish. Two fuel and one drone part. Man, I need fuel, but it's only two. It is a drone part. I do need both of these things. Oh, man. That's like the minimum I would take. I'll take it. It's your, your, you drive a hard bargain, dude. And not in a good way. Alright, so we actually want to plan on diving. Because... If we're here in eight, that's two more jumps than we would get otherwise, right? I think so. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So we see every jump that we plan on getting here in eight. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's second store. We have a potential third store here, I believe. Fate favors the bold, so avoid civilian sectors at all costs. No thanks. Oh my god. Double missile cloaking. You FTL, man. God damn it, this is such a bullshit fight. Good dodge there. Oh. I get two shots off, I think, though. Wow, that missile did 90% of his health. Fuck you, FTL, man. Fucking hell, go down, missile! This is fucking eight damage from missiles. Fucking FTL, man. Eight fucking damage from missiles. Missiles are a timer on your health. Timer on my goddamn blood pressure is what it really is. Two missiles for fucking eight damage. This is why I will never not I will never be able to not curse while playing FTL. Just stupid that that fucking exists, man. Cloaking double missiles. One of them was a breach missile. Just. Effing stupid. Imagine these fights with four basic lasers. Yeah, right? I'm going to the store now. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I'm going to go there now. I don't want to have another fight like that and just insta die. Hey, please have cloaking, please. Damn it. I think I might get clone bay. Maybe I shouldn't have sold that basic laser earlier. You don't have any weapons. No weapons, no cloaking. Effing store, man. Yeah, reloader. I see it, I see it. What if the next door is there? They have cloaking. No, I'm not buying a teleporter.
This lets me do giant alien spiders and a couple others. I'm gonna do that and still not get third shield because actually I don't at this only it's my store can only be here. I don't think I can have another another nebula store. So still not getting the third shield till I can do that and still have enough to get cloaking. Detective wearing ready hey should go. Go 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 do something to yourselves that feels good, but I don't want to watch it. You could totally missile this other mantis. Wish I had half your fucking dodges, man. <sighs> Jesus. Level 3 clone bay, too. Cool, man. Cool. <laughs> Level 8,000 engines. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Just amazing dodges. How is he repairing that so fast? Oh, because I'm missing every shot. Consider it. They detected a leak in the medical unit we just bought. Surely these slugs are consumer rights champions. They must be. It's the only explanation. Okay. Man, if I don't get cloaking, now I'm a little more scared of this dive now that I've committed to. I, would just, I was assuming that Seeing one or two stores, I would be able to do that. <sighs> God damn it, these ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weapon power. I guess it's too greedy to not get the third shield. Quadruple fire. <laughs> Fucking quadruple shield fire. Oh my god. I cannot believe these fucking ships. Get me out of this shit. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I hate this fucking game sometimes. If I go directly from this fight to another... Is that better or worse? I won't have hacking up. I have to hope for an empty jump right now. Gives me a little time to repair. Ignore. There's still a fire somewhere on my ship. I cannot believe this fucking game right now. So I have a choice. I can get third shield, and if this is a store worth cloaking, I don't get it. Or... I agree, don't get third shield. And maybe die to the next fight with... Eight goddamn weapon power in Sector... What are we in? Sector 4? Sector 5? Oh, we're in Sector 6. Jesus. Oh, man. 
Third shield is bait. I don't know about that. What do I think is more likely? Big giant missile ship, which third shield does nothing against, or another ship with a bunch of lasers and ions like that last ship. Slugs never have drones, right? You think I should greed if the next fight looks nasty? Hack weapons and run. All right, greed it is, man. Would you like payment? All right, let's see if our greed pays off. For the love of God, please have hacking. Please, I mean, not hacking, cloaking, please. All right, there it is. Thank God. Oh my God, it's another store with flak heavy laser. I want this so bad right now. Double flak one, double heavy laser one is one of the best weapon systems in the game. Wasn't greedy enough, yeah. Twenty-five. I wouldn't be able to get it online yet. Oh man, this is a tough choice. I think I buy the flak and get my third shield online. If I do this, I can't get the third shield. The reloader just costs us the flak or cloaking, you think? Third shield is one fight next sector, you think? Well, it depends on how much I spend on repairs right now, because I'm planning on repairing as well. I'm going to do this. We're also diving, man, but hopefully I can just weapon hack and run. Ah, oh, sure would have been nice to get cloaking. <sighs> All these ships are so stupid, man. These fucking ships are so stupid. I cannot believe the fucking OPness of these ships. F your cloaking, dude. Well, four of that repair I just got instantly erased because of this fucking game being so stupidly unfair. Oh, he's goddamn running. Are you serious right now? Four scrap shard short of the shield. Our, our setup is so good if we stop fighting ships with cloaking, man. Cloaking is delaying my first volley by so long that I cannot stop the damage. I'm pretty sure the last, like, six ships we fought have had cloaking. It's so ridiculous. Enemy having cloaking and us not having it is costing us so much goddamn health. I just hack the, I hack the weapons. We should have done this. Okay, good. We got his weapons down, though. There's a lot of borders. Okay, let's get out of here. Finally, a civilian sector. Okay. First civilian sector of the day, man. 
Clack was a good buy, you think? I mean, this is an insane weapon system. The only the only negative to it is I had to pass up cloaking, and that feels bad because our defenses are bad. Our offenses are amazing, but our defense is our defense is behind right now. We have best weapon set up. Yeah, we passed on cloaking to get this weapon set up. Passed on cloaking and third shield to get this. It's not even online yet. I think we skipped this door. I could have passed on a chain laser. It could be worse. Lol. All right. Uh, I think... Is this Cannibals? It's the one I can't remember. One of the five I can't remember. FTL, refugee ship drifting in space. Prepare to board and investigate. Crew member, clone bay. Yes, Cannibals. Okay. Nice. 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 Okay. Is there ever a chance we get enough scrap from there that we could buy cloaking from the store? Go for it. You know what they say, the best defense is a good offense, unless the enemy has cloaking, right? Well... Nah, I don't want to spend scrap on crew right now. I don't think I go to a store if I can't afford cloaking, so... I'm still unsure. I'm still unsure if I buy my second, my third shield yet. Do I delay third shield to get cloaking? I feel like I do, man. 32 scrap and I can sell a reloader. What do you mean? I can't go to this store. I have to sell heavy laser for cloaking. I'm gonna go this way and hope we get one more ship fight before cloaking. I think I'm gonna greed for cloaking. Yeah, it's just barely taken over. Okay. At least I think so. It's one of those where I'm about 80% sure it's gonna be taken over. Double beam. I'm glad those are not combat drones. Good. Ooh, this is sketchy with no cloaking and only level two shields. It's a good deal, but I need scrap. I would love a free mantis, but I can't take a mantis I have to pay for right now. Oh, I mean, that was free. Uh, if you gave me that plus some scrap, I would have taken it. <laughs> 60 scrap, that's what I'm talking about. You thought I had the extra jump? Well, we'll find out right now. There it is, you see? There it is. It's harder for you all probably to see, especially if you're on a small screen, but I was about 90% sure that that was taken over. All right, well, there's the scrap. We got 60. Come on, cloaking. Please, please let my greed pay off, please. Damn it, you stupid video game! <laughs> if I have the scrap, it's never there. If I don't have the scrap, it's always there, man. So our only other stores are... We could have stores down here. It's a fire bad. You would have taken that from what you could see. How many jumps do we have? This is, a, this is another dive sector. Whoa... Well, there's not one way out here that works super well. Drone control? Uh... Eight drone parts? <sighs> yeah, it's only, uh... Did we, see all, we saw another store, right? Yeah. There's two to three in civilian, right? Yeah, it probably is drone control and buy drone parts. 
Yeah, I think it's only a, it's only a chance for a third store. It's not guaranteed. And we're sector seven, right? Yeah. No, I think it's too greedy. I don't want to, but I think it's correct. Yeah, this is probably our last store, honestly. Watch me jump here and there's an immediate store with cloaking there. Well, I will say I probably won't even see the store. Um, I feel like I need it. I need to buy two drone parts and a power. All right, next is third shield and then our weapon. I'm going to not repair banking on greeting for a Sector 8 repair station. Wow, those weapons, though. Those weapons, though. I'm just going to hack your weapons and hope you don't dodge everything. It was a vain hope. Twas a vain hope. Fuck you, FTL. What are these fucking dodges? Okay, pretty good dodges for us, though. Yeah, get me out before this missile hits me. Fucking hell, man. No, I'm not taking that deal. Be right back. Setting dodge back to 40 instead of 60. Okay. If you could do that, that would be great. Man, my scrap is so low right now. Scrap is so goddamn low right now. Can't even afford third shields. It's so stupid. Extra store I didn't want. Uh, we're seeing the value of long range scanners right now, or the value of not having them. Or the downside of not having them, I should say. Big giant fucking missile. Oh, thank God, we can actually dodge something. Okay, good. Finally, finally we dodge and they don't. It's a freaking goddamn miracle. Okay, and then the dodges are back. I think the flagship fight's gonna be fine. If I get one shield and heavy laser... Well... Uh, phase two is gonna be rough. But where our offense is so fast that... We will probably blast the boss fight. We probably just don't get force shield. That's that's what I'm afraid of. Honestly, it's the fights before the boss fight I'm worried about. All right. So next, I need weapons. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think we get six. Basically, circle around the exit beacon until we're almost out of fuel here. Running. Okay. Please be level two engines or lower. Damn it. I meant piloting. I have to hit, hope one of these hits. At least his weapons... Ah, we're actually immune to damage here. Damn it. Come on, game. Give me a break with this shit. Level 3 piloting, run away. Go F yourself, FDL. There it is. Four beams. Good build. I can see why you're running. Your dumbass doesn't know how to build a ship. Hey, there's your favorite weapon. Um, 
Julian. Why isn't it working, though? Why isn't it working? Man, I still need dodge. I still need this maxed. I need weapon and then fourth shield. God. It is probably right to get defense drone, but my god, it feels bad to not have cloaking. It feels really bad to not, bad to not have cloaking. It's gonna board me. Gotta attack the shields. Good dodges. It's not Chandler's fault if there's a user error. <laughs> okay, sure. That was, that was user error to have four beams, true. Four beams is a pretty big user error. Right, we can get the weapon. Watch there be a store here with cloaking. Okay. Alright, weapons are done. Weapons are badass. So, if we win, it's gonna be our because our offense is insane. And I get just barely enough defense, probably. Okay, at least we're getting shift fights. I'm glad about that. Defense car will bless us. I sure hope so. I definitely need some blessing, that's for sure. One, two, three, four. I can't go... Hmm. I think I can actually go one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. And then dive. And we have enough fuel for that. So that, that gets us all three of these jumps. If I go one, two, three, I don't get this one. So we go one, two, three, four. Normally I wouldn't do that because going through the exit beacon does you no good, but this gets us an actual extra ship fight, so. Power dodge, level three hacking, level four shields, even more power. We need a lot of things. Humans on my ship. Welcome in, the venting's fine. It's just like three hundred scrap. Yeah, only 300. Well, that's jump change, right? Maybe if I was on easy difficulty. You've wandered into a boarding party. Okay, I think uh, four shields with two flak ones is still worth hacking shields. Especially now that I can finally mind control the piloting. It's the first time I've been able to mind, uh, mind control piloting this entire day. Oh, wait. No, I lost my sensor guy. Damn it. No surrender. Okay. Sorry, in and into this, into the uh, clone vats you go. You bought this game the other day, you should probably play it to know what WTF is going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great game. It is a very trolly, rage inducing game, though. So be prepared for trolliness and rage inducingness. Let's just go for the let's go for the max hacking, I guess. Jump. All right. 
What does this dive ship look like? Big giant missile, four shields. So we level three hack his weapons. We deal with the boarding. Uh, I control you. Do this. Oh, he boards us the second time, eh? Where is he? In my backup battery. I was about to dolphin flip, and then you deprived me of my dolphin flipping privileges by running away. Alright, clean dive at least. It is a game about war crimes against your sanity. <laughs> yeah, that's a good description of this game. War crimes against your sanity. Rand videos actually made you buy the game and then discover his stream. Really? I guess through uh, the al mighty algorithm of YouTube. Okay, we have a repair beacon three away, two places. So we should be able to get one of those. Oh man, where do I where do I spend my upgrades? Fourth dodge and then all power and never get fourth shield. I, God, there's no way we can get enough scrap for what I would want to get here. Ugh. I'm going to take free stuff for shield auto scout with my double flax. You know the feeling back when you got like a couple wins on easy, one on normal, then went F this game and only ever watch it now? Yeah. But a lot of people do, and I absolutely understand why. This game can make your sanity go insane. Make your sanity go insane? Yes, that's what I said. I needed to dodge that bomb if they hit in there. Nice. I mean, I didn't even have a value point in Clone Bay. I didn't even check that, man. I didn't even check. That I needed to crew kill that, damn it. You love the idea of the game, you hate playing it, yeah. That's why we streamers do it. So you can live vicar vicariously through our rage. You saw someone describe FTL as being a fun straighting kind of game. That seems right to you. Fun straighting. There you go. All right. Potential three repair stations. Also potential of a double dive, which would suck. All right. I have almost the minimum minimum amount of off offense. Almost, but not quite. Basically, phase two, I need to kill the boss before drone phase happens. That's that's my goal. With three shields and no way I get four shield, we basically have to kill phase two so fast that drone phase doesn't happen. Which, with this weapon system, quite doable. Quite doable. Um, that's why you try to give yourself some credit, because even though you're not in the top tier skill, just by playing no pause, you're still pretty good. Yeah, for sure. Um, ion plus missile. I guess I'm just going to do this. I'm going to use double drone parts. Eight will be just enough for the boss fight. Oh, he went for my weapons, man. He has a level 3 cloak. God damn it. And all of the dodges. Woo! This drone, you are making me sweat, drone. Jeez. Could you shoot it at any more last possible second? These freaking dodges, man. He is literally as far from the missile as it could be and still hit it. But good job, Carl. Good job. I'll give you Carl because you didn't let it hit, man. Insane dodges. That was with his piloting hat, I'll, I'll add. In your defense, you don't even like watching people rage at games. It's all the rest. <laughs> okay. 
You play normal mode, it's pretty easy. Still too scared to try hard mode. Simulated danger for entertainment purposes. Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> to add insult to injury, we get to dive right before the boss. Well, I get exactly as much power as I need. No extra systems, no extra value points. An ion blast sitting in my thing for no reason. God damn it, man. I hate that I have to dive right before the boss fight. And I don't have cloaking for the dive. I don't think with uh, level 4 engines you ever get out before the ASB either. Just the missile doesn't fire. Please dodge, please dodge. Yes! Okay. That dodge is really good for us. Okay. That's about as good a dive as I could hope for, man. Okay, we have... Backup battery, which I, I'm just going to wait as late as possible. That one probably hits us, so get out. Oh, we dumbled well. Is that a 10 power weapon system? I'm not surprised. Alright, so we let the hack through. If he hacks our weapons, I actually don't know if I have a safe place to jump to to rechar retry it. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Oh, this is so fucking stupid, man. I guess I'm going for it anyway. Oh, I even took out my defense drone. Maybe I should have hit his hacking, I don't know. Is there a safe place? There is. Six drone parts. I've only taken one damage so far. Fucking weapons hack, man. Fucking weapons hack. Thank god our weapons are fast. I think one more volley gets him. Okay, that's good crew kills. We finish it. God, I hope this isn't too greedy. He's gonna have one more cloak. Our defense drone is doing frickin' work right now, actually. Why? Oh, I don't have power. Whew, frickin' Carl drone did work there. Worst effing hack by a bajillion percent. Ooh, okay. All the dodges I couldn't get earlier saved for the boss. I guess so. They did save us there. Good dodges and a good defense drone. I think there were at least three or four missiles I saw a defense drone protect us from. Maybe there, maybe there were more. I don't know. Carl and dodges saved us. 26... I almost want level 2 sensors for my mind control. Oh, let me go and refresh you guys. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm going to take the extra jump. I'm going to do it. I'm still refreshing because they might board me on the extra jump. If they board me with two humans, I'm going to want my anti-boarding dudes to be full health. This is just the correct way to do it. Is to heal our anti-boarding dudes. Alright, five drone parts. I need four for the last two phases though, so I need to not use two drone parts if I can help it here.
Let's guarantee you can't dodge our second volley. Zero dodges there, but only one damage for one drone part, 47 scrap. All right, that's pretty good. What is with these name memes, though? People you know called Steve. Oh, thought people you knew called Steve are good workers. Karen, you know, is lovely. You should have capped that. Okay. Okay. All right, 73 scrap. Just shy of being able to get the power plus the dodge. I think I'd rather get value points then. Hold off on mind control. We only need that one for phase three. I kind of want one more power so I can have my level 202, 202, level 202 to deal with the boarding drone and not get vented. So maybe this. Maybe this is backup battery? I mean, where would I put the power? O2, basically, which is what I would do with this one. Could save for weapons buffer phase three. That's interesting. I feel like there's nothing here that I love. And since we're DPS racing the boss phase three, no, it's phase two I'm DPS racing the boss. I could do the engine, and I'd be able to get the power for phase three. Honestly, I kind of like that. kind of like the dodge, and I can get a mind control value for phase three. I don't know that I'll need doors for phase three. Phase three DPS race as well. True. All right, let's save it. True, since I don't have cloaking that, that overcharge in phase three is gonna be terrifying as well. Hopefully we'll get through his ult and shield really quickly. Feels weird to bank scrap right before final phase of the boss, but. Yeah. Why does it say welcome to the chat room? Man, Twitch is being stupid today. Twitch is being really crappy today. Okay. We got a lot of crew kills, phase one. There were a bunch of dudes in the shield room when we wrecked him. Saving my control. Uh, you know what? I don't think I even need to save it. Wow, this beam drone did damage to us. It's a fire. No doors. Here it comes. Can we kill him before we take damage here? Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, God, that is not a good preview for Phase 3. I might even want shield value over weapon value. I don't know. Uh, probably weapon value is better. Oh, God. We took two, six damage because two heavy laser shots collided with drones. Thanks, FTL. Thanks. We have the mind control counter. We have just enough drone parts. Oh, I think it is. I think it is just auto fire weapons at shields. Deal with one or two borders. This uh, might be two or three borders that's left. Uh, let's see. Is weapon buffer better than 5% more dodge? You need to get anger management. Yeah, you should not smash your stuff when you get mad. Five percent more dodge or protection from a single shot in weapons. Five percent more dodge. We'll have a defense drone up. Oh, I don't know. Let's go weapon buffer, I guess. 
gonna be a close one, man. Okay, let me prepare. Let me let me kind of visualize what we're doing. We're immediately countering mind control because in case it's weapons, we need to get rid of that quickly so our weapons are charging full speed. We're instantly pointing everything at shields weapon-wise. I'm just gonna turn on auto fire now. We're gonna deal with borders with these two guys and hope they don't go in my weapons. Not visualize beating him. Visualize it's more like plan my plan plan what I'm doing. You know, Olympic swimmers, they like plan their strokes. That's what I'm doing. I'm planning my strokes here. Counter my control. Point weapon shields. Deal with borders. As soon as the Sultan shield's down, we hack. And that's all I got. No more reading chat till we win. Okay. Good tip. All right, here we go. Hit five immediately to turn my defense drone on. If we have to run, we can run. I don't want to run because any damage you take is not good. But. Not good dodges to start. Good dodges there, though. Or I'm at knockout dodges for him. Us against him. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, fucking dodges, man. Oh, I don't. I'm thinking about jumping away, but I think we finally got through. I have no defense drone. Okay, missiles down. Uh, so I don't need defense drones. Useless. Get there, get there, get there. Come on, come on. My shots are in the air. If we die, he's dead. GG. GG, Kestrel B. Eight in a row, I think. Eight in a row, okay. He had some really good dodges at the beginning of that fight, man. Now let me get cut off in chat. Uh, 7 of 20 damage so far. 11 of 30. Drone control carry. Alright. E easy even with that awful accuracy. Those weapons, man. Those weapons are so good. 11 damage from 30 fired was awful. So we had really bad dodges, right? Really hot and fought. Can't wait to see the, stra uh, the stats. Let's see. Check that score. Just over 5k. Pretty low score. Low ships for a number of beacons explored. All right. GG cookie time. It. We earned our cookie. My brain hurts. <laughs> Man. Didn't get cloaking. Although, I'll be honest with how expensive cloaking is, or was, it still probably would have been better. We would have had like one or two less value points, but the cloaking would have made up for that. Such an overpowered ship, Kappa. <laughs> Alright, that is Kestrel B down. Well, I feel like I got all of my good weapons that I'm going to get for the next, like, two weeks, so... Really quickly, really quickly my friends. One more stand-up stretch break. We can come back. We got time for one more one. That'll probably make us go a little late. Unless it's a fast death, I guess. When we come back, we'll do another one. Y'all rock. See you in just a bit, my friends.